Previously on The Journey Down, man. Hey, why are you helping us all of a sudden? Is this a trap? Yeah, who's paying you this time, Barlow? What's in it for you? Nothing. There's nothing in this for me. Things used to be so simple back when Ken Andorra was around. Power company, money corrupted me. And that corrupts everything. Ken Andorra was the only one who had guts to stand up against them. That paid the ultimate price. Now it's my turn to pay. Oh shit. Pay for my greed. I hold them off. Oh! Take the plane to the underland and blow them in off this whole rotten mess. Now go! Go! Oh, Barlo! Oh shit! Oh! Barlo! Here we go! Barlo! Barlo! What? They stole the book? They've got some guts. <laughs> This is our chance. <laughs> Pirates! It's time for the raid of your lives! Call in the fleet! Whoa! Whoa! Shit got serious, eh? In fact, hold on! The riches of the underland! Wait! <laughs> Wait, so... How the fuck the government doesn't do anything about this? Are they like so... Oh, okay. I guess I understand why. Damn. Uh, what? What is this? Ah, wow. I haven't slept like that for years. Wow, bomber place, man. Where the fuck are we? Hold on. Let's have a moment of silence for Barlow. He was a good man. Yep. Barlow was a good man. Yep. <sighs> yep. I hope he's okay. Probably dead. Yeah. He was a good man. Anyway, let's do this. Gate. Man. That is one big gate. I wonder if Count Andodo is in there somewhere. Uh-huh, and there's a figure. Hmm, there's a figure carved out from the rock here. I wonder what it means. Uh-huh, a table? Uh-huh. Do I have to remember any of these? Hold on, clock. It's 10 a.m. now according to the clock. Can't remember the last time I was up this early. Uh, yeah, same here. No, I'm kidding. A uh, book. Kaunandoro drew these doodles when he was here many, many years ago. Uh-huh. Do I have to remember something? Like these? Kaunandoro drew these... Alright, got it. Alright. Leave. Uh-huh, birds. Man, I wish I brought some for Tito's. Uh-huh. Can I check tent? Woo! I found a machete! Nice! Let's go here, I guess. Hey, Kito! Oh, wait, hold on. I totally forgot to talk to you. Buana's here to save the day. Well, look who's awake. I've almost got this puzzle cracked. 
I'd hate to see you miss the party. What are you up to? Well, I'm trying to get this giant gate open, and I'm pretty sure we're almost through. There's just one bit here that I just don't understand. Once I've got that part figured out, we're going in! Uh, if we're going through the gate, why didn't we just fly over it? Good question! If we're going through the gate, why didn't we just fly over it? Oh, trust me, we had good reasons not to. Why? You heard about the Hungries? Sure, some kind of spooky made-up monsters, right? The ones that eat ships? Spooky, yes. Made up? I don't know. According to the legend, they live right on top of a place called the Hatari Reef. Yeah, so? You're looking at it. This wall is the Hatari Reef. Oh. You got me convinced. Uh, so... What is... In there behind the gate, yeah. So what's in there behind the gate? To tell you the truth, Buana, I really don't know. This book speaks in riddles, and most of it is just sketches and rhymes. And all the information I've ever managed to scrounge up about it, in all my years of research about the Underland, are completely conflicting. Our good friends at the power company have really done everything they can to keep us in the dark. If Count and Dodo were here, maybe he could help us. I have a feeling we're walking in his footsteps. Okay. Uh, that uh, escape was pretty awesome. No, dude, no. No. That escape was pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, we made it out of there in the nick of time. Good thing Barlow turned out to be a good man after all. What do you mean, good man? He's bad to the bone, and he almost shot me. He helped us escape, though, didn't he? Yeah, true. Why do you think he was helping us out all of a sudden? It's all in here, in the journal. Count and Dodo essentially kept it as a diary. They were good friends. Whatever this power thing was that they found, Barlow was convinced that they should make use of it. Count and Dodo, on the other hand, insisted that it should remain untouched. The two of them quarreled over it and split up once they returned from the Underland. With the help of the Armando Power Company, Barlow finally got what he wanted, and in the end, it destroyed him. Helping us escape was his final redeeming act. Now, let me ask you a question. Why is the power company chasing after the book in the first place? If they want to hide whatever is going on in the Underland so bad, why didn't they just destroy the book? They... they need it for something. That must be the case. But I have no idea for what. Hopefully we'll find out once we finally get this gate open. Hey! Don't fucking diss Barlow. He fucking took a shot for us, man. Damn. Buana, you, you dick. <laughs> Damn. Okay, good luck with the gate. Okay, good luck with the gate. Alright, I guess I'll talk to Kito. Um, uh, runes? You know what, let's talk to Kito. Hey, Kito. What happened to our beautiful airplane? Sorry, Buana. There really wasn't much to salvage from the plane. It got pretty badly slashed as we went through the big storm. The pontoons were just about the only thing worth saving. So, I figured we could make a raft out of them. Nothing worth salvaging? What about my awesome farm of cacti? They are right here, brother. No worries, man. Oh, I love you, man. Uh, it's useless, though. It's my farm of cacti. Count and Dodo gave them to me ages ago. They haven't grown a lot since. But at least they're still alive. Count and Dodo loved his cacti. Don't worry, little fellas. One day we'll find a perfect spot to plant you guys. Oh, okay. Um, so it just got slashed? Damn. So, I guess this is it for our airplane. It sure did take us far, though. I just hope someone has a plan for the trip home. Yeah. It's, uh... Man, this place is beautiful, eh? Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Feels just like home for some reason. Is that a hint? Hold on. So, you're building a raft? Yeah. Lena seems to be planning some kind of boat trip. Talking about a long river and some big tree. 
and I've got nothing else to do. So I figured I'd slap these two pontoons together to build something large enough to carry all three of us. It's turning out pretty sweet, don't you think? It's gorgeous. Nice. Uh, there's birds. Looks like seagulls. Uh huh. So let's uh check the. Ooh, there's a jungle. Ruins. I have no idea what all these funny symbols mean. I bet Kaunan Dodo could read them. He was real smart with those kinds of things. Hey, Buana, do you think we're going to find Kono Dodo down here? Somewhere in the Underland, I mean. Of course we are. <laughs> I think so too, Mon. Alright, the jungle. I'd love to go exploring, but man, that jungle is thick. Uh, machete, the jungle. What? Oh. Hey, check it out, Kito. A path. Whoa, Mystic. You going exploring? You bet, man. Hold on. When do we get a machete? It was in a tent, but who had it? Ah, uh, whatever. Probably Lina's. I don't even... Yeah. Uh-huh. There's a stone head. I think this guy has squirrels living in his nose. Cool. And there's a... Seagull. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, pillar? This door looks pretty solid. Hey, maybe I can... What? Uh huh. Oh, hold on. Let me see all the pattern first. Okay. So there's that, there's circle, there's that, and there's that. Alright. Um, I'm guessing it's in the book somewhere. I think. So yeah, let me go back here. And, uh, you know, let's talk to Lena again. How's it going? Still haven't really figured it out. There must be something missing here. Everything should be aligned just right. And it's still not opening. Uh, can I help? Can I help? Thanks, Bona. But what I'd really need now is some advice from Professor Moorhead. This kind of stuff is his specialty. I feel completely lost without him. Uh, who's this Moorhead guy again? That's your, uh, professor, right? Who's this Moorhead guy again? He's a professor at the Agibo University in St. Armando. I'm his assistant. Underland Studies is his specialty. Oh, I wish he was here so he could see all of this. He'd be bubbling with excitement. Alright, uh, good luck! Yeah! Okay. Good luck with the gate. Now hold on, let's look at the table. Oh, so I'm guessing that's the pattern. Alright, that's easy. So it circles quickly, that thing and that, alright. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Circle, squiggly. Yeah, I think I got it. So. Sir, sir, go. Squiggly. And. Uh, hold on. Is it? Yeah. And then. Wow. Yeah. That was easy. Uh, should we go talk to them? Fuck it. Man, what is this place? Yeah, there's a button. Uh... Uh... What? Oh my god. Is this from the... Oh, okay. I guess I need a book again. Huh. What is this button? Hmm. 
Nothing happened. In fact, is this the hint? Is this the hint? Hold on. Let me go here. Observatory? Well, what? Oh, it's kind of like a telescope thing. I think, or not really a telescope, but like to observe the star in the location of the star, I think. Something like that? Yeah. Oh, hold on. I don't think anything. It's quick again. Oh. And nothing here. One more time. How are you observing this, by the way? So there's a moon on that. So hold on. Uh, thunder. Was it thunder? Hold on. I think it was thunder. Or tree. Yeah, sure, thunder or upside down tree. Whatever. That was moon. So, let's check the ruins. So this was, uh, hold on. Yeah, it was that, right? I think. Wait, what is, that's a moon, right? And that's a star? Hold on. The swirly. Oh, hold on. I think I get it, hold on. So... That's moon. Alright, got it. So I gotta check everything. So the leaf is what? Nothing. You? Oh, and it goes back. Okay. Did I miss something? I don't see any star. Uh, nope. Thing. Hmm. Hold on. I have a feeling I gotta go way back. Way, way back. Way, way, way back. And talk to Lena. And check the book, I guess? Hold on. Table. Any hint? Uh, is this is ten o'clock, right? It's ten a.m. now, according to the clock. Yeah. Can't remember the last time I was up this early. Uh, can I like turn the page or something? Probably not. Uh. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you turn the page? Is this all we got? God damn. Ah, uh, let's talk. How's it going? Still haven't really figured it out. There must be something missing here. Everything should be aligned just right. And it's still not opening. Alright then. No dialogue, and you're like still staring. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I have no clue. I have no clue. So. Hmm. Nothing happens. Hold on. Um, oh wait, location, the 
past star. The past star moves across the heavens in a repeating pattern. Because of this, sailors have been able to develop an age index used to locate the past star location with the help of time. It's 10 a.m. So, it's a path of wave. Hold on. Ha ho down. Path of wave. Yeah. This, right? That must be the wave. So, the only thing I'm missing is this squirrely. Hold on. Squirrely. Anything about squirrely? Squirrely. Aha. Uh -huh. Squirrely. Okay, I'm guessing it's this, but what is this? It's near the monkey. Uh. Huh. Can I turn the page? Danger of the mist of hungry and piracy. Nope. I got the moon. I don't get the squirrely part yet. What is squirrely? Huh. Squirrely. Yeah. What? What is squirrely? I don't see monkey. Maybe it's leaf? Hold on. Let me, uh. Oh, what? What, what, what? Uh, what does that supposed to mean? Wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so if that's that, right? Let me put squirrely there. Get out and press it. Would it go back? Yeah, so that means I think Squirrely was right. So what am I wrong about? Let me change the moon and see if that's wrong or not. Hmm. Nothing happened. So okay, the moon was right, I'm guessing. Uh, moon. Right then, isn't that... So it's the star. Isn't this a wave? Hold on, is this a wave? I can't even. Hmm. Nothing happened. Uh, okay. Maybe I was right in the first place, and it's that? Hmm. Nothing happened. Oh, okay, so it got... Uh, what? Hold on. Oh, wait. I fucked it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now try. Hmm. Nothing happened. What? Didn't I do Oh god damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. Okay, so the leaf went down. What is that supposed to mean? So check the leaf, I'm guessing? Right? So let's push this to here. Oh, I gotta go all the way around. Yep, hey. 
There's nothing. What? What am I supposed to do here? Hold on. That for now. Press. So it becomes that. Hold on. Do I have to like... Okay. But what does that do? Do I do it on everything? Hmm. Nothing happened. What? What the shit do I have to do? <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Holy shit. I was using the star instead of square. Wow. Wow. I get it now. Holy shit. Now what? Oi. Runes, I mean? Hey, what's this? Oh, that's the key to the... To the, to the thing! To the gate! Alright, key. Let's go. I hope it fits. If it doesn't, man... You know what, let's talk, Kito. Man, this place is beautiful, eh? Yeah! I've never seen anything like it. Same thing! Alright. Hey, Lena, look what I found. Hey, Lena, look what I found. Not now, Buona. Bitch. Hey, Lena, look what I found. Not now, Buona. Bitch. <sighs> Bitch, check this out. Hero Buona in the house. Ooh. Hey, what's happening? That's a huge ass door! Okay. I can't believe it. You opened it. Yeah, if you would have listened, girl. Hey, wait a minute. It, it's closing. Get Hold in. Hold on, guys. Get on the raft. You done with the raft already? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Who was right? Hanandodo was right. The Underland is real. End of chapter two.
go! That is the end of the Journey Down Chapter 2! Oh. Uh, finally, we reached the Underland! Yeah! And I believe Chapter 3 is coming soon? Like, soon as in, I believe in January, was it? I have to see the discussion for him one more time, but yeah, Chapter 3 will come soon, and you know what? Let's check behind the scene! fraction of the architecture sketches we did for the Afro North City of Port R2. Nice. In the original script, Buawa, Buana I mean, was the hard-boiled lead. We quickly realized that this didn't fly with his mentality, and thus Barlow was born. Oh, interesting. Morton, yo, yo, that outfit. Morton was one of the first characters to be designed for TJ, TJD2 and was one of the few to make it all the way from first script to final design. Recognize the shape of that face? If you're a true point and click nerd, you should! Sorry, I, I don't. So sorry? Yeah. A bunch of bystander sketches. Nice. Hey, I know you. You were the one in front of the, the, the cinema. And you, you're one of the Sisulu gang. And are you one of those two bitches that you know, saying, yeah, who dissed Buana or something? I don't, I, I don't remember. And you, I don't remember who you are. Whatever. Nice sketches. Enola's House of Butterflies. Oh! A playable area in the very early version of the game. What? When did that happen? In a previous horrendous stupid layout of Port R2, there were multiple ways of getting to places in the city. Early test result has us throw it out. Okay. What Clum Temba looks like inside in case anyone curious. Oh. Nice. The first version of Port R2 Main Street. This was before Club Temba was thought of. Huh. Ooh, before the mayor's office and Andy became part of the script, there used to be a library in Port R2. Not sure what for, though. Ha. Huh. Before Club Temba became a posh, posh, I mean posh joint on Main Street, it was a back alley thing, too similar to Arnie's. And Viewport short of the Susulu Copter, docking sequence from Lightwave 8. Yeah. Theo teaching Sim on how to use saxophone the day before the live T TJD gig in Brighton. After the launch of T. JD1. The journey down one, we packed our stuff and left the office. And went to the GDC and E3 and blew all of our money on travels and fun. Nice. So we wind up, or yes, so we wound up developing the rest of the journey down two from the bar, cafes, and trailers. Nice. At Simmons' house, Terry, really? He recommended us to hire his friend Jamie to take on the responsibility of finalizing the Journey Down 2 soundtrack. Oh. We immediately fell in love with Jamie's music and found his bombastic orchestral style to be the perfect complement to Simon's jazz. The Journey Down 2 also used there's a few tracks from Simon's last album, Navigation, including the music you're listening to right now. Straight No Chaser Big Band played the music of Simon D. Souza. The album is 100% charity. Money is shared between Brain Tumors Trust, St. Peter and St. James Hospic, and Scope, the charity for people with disabilities. Oh, Simon passed away on May 19th. 2014. Dude, your music was awesome, man! Shit! 
Dog. Ah. Oh. Dude, I really love his uh Journey Down One music. God damn. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. Oh yeah, that was Journey Down Chapter 2 and can I click on Chapter 3? Oh, the third and final chapter of the Journey Down is currently in development and will take you on a sweeping journey through jungles and caves. Murky swamps. And back up topside to explore the fate of old friends and to finally find the truth. That lies hidden somewhere in the noisy chaos that makes up the bustling metropolis of St. Armando. And yeah, that is it for the Journey Down Chapter 2. It's a fun game. The puzzle is kind of... I don't want to say easy because I kind of screwed up a lot of puzzles in this game, but for some people it probably might be too easy, but I love the story, you know? The character is alright. Um, Wawa's kind of too childish in my opinion. Yeah. But besides that, everything I think is great. But yeah, I can't wait for chapter 3. So, yeah. I'll see you guys again when chapter 3 comes out. Yeah, in, I don't know exactly when. Probably in January? February? Something like that? Yeah, depending on the developer. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Oh, by the way, you could buy this on Steam. And it's probably cheap with bundle, I believe. They sell chapter 1, chapter 2. So if you guys are still interested, check them out. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.